Okay, good morning everyone. All the way back here in Andorra from Giroland Muster. Giro Muster if you want to call it that. And yeah, it was an exciting 210 kilometers. I didn't expect much. It was supposed to be easy, but it turned out to be gutters galore. And it was really a nice event. I enjoyed it. Safe roads, really small. Lots of wind. We didn't expect anything. And it ended up in a long chase, 400 kilometers with a 20 second gap all the way in a 210 kilometer race. But yeah, I really enjoyed it. Uh, went well, but the traveling really killed me once again. Woke up two days ago at about 3 a.m. Arrived back later at home, two days later at 4 a.m. And this is how it went. So I uh, hope you enjoy the vlog. And uh, once again, thanks for tuning in. Hey, good morning. Okay, bye bye. Be fair. Did we really start this morning? Nobody? Uh, Smith. Okay, just off of the bus and uh, at the airport now. So finally, we are off uh, to Dusseldorf for Giro Munster. It's a 200k flat race, kind of. And uh, been up this morning at 4 o'clock, so a little bit tired. Going to do a quick pre race ride and then basically just go relax, get a massage, and enjoy the rest of the easy day. The plane from Barcelona to Düsseldorf. Okay, it's finally in our hotel room. Yeah, in Munster. As you can see, it's a, it's a little bit weird, strange, but uh, all good. It's raining outside. I'll show you that later. A bit demoralizing, but Tony told us there's no rain for tomorrow, so no complaints. For one day race, to really be nice. Um, if there's no rain but if there is rain it's great to have it in a one day race because it's likely not a tour <laughs> lots of rain so gotta look for some rain equipment down the rain bags It seems the only way around here is on the cycle pass. What the hell? Just stopping every every five seconds. So super long day of traveling. Uh, up this morning at about 3:45. Catch the bus at 4:20 to arrive at the airport. At around about quarter past eight to catch my flight from Brussels. All the way to Munster, or well, Dusseldorf, um, at 9.25 arrived, around about 12, uh, waited for some extra guys, got to the tower around about 2.38 and 3.30 on the bike, so as you can see, <laughs> it's uh, sometimes it's fun, sometimes it's work, but it's cycling and uh, I'm not complaining. Always do it on my own, so I gotta get through it And the only thing I know is to love what I'm doing Never give up, never slow, till I finally prove it Never listen to the no's, I just wanna keep moving I don't 
think my camera justifies how big that thing really is while i'm riding here i was thinking me and john actually did another podcast last night so go ahead check the link down below and uh, give it a listen guys what the fuck <laughs> and you see that's exactly what i mean uh, it's a bike path people walking here which i respect they can walk there but then on the other side i've got a ride there on the road which makes it a little bit more dangerous but it's okay i don't mind riding there however the guys that want to get one second faster to work do mind that I ride there. So, yeah. <laughs> oh, well, that's right. Keep my head up when I act. Head up, that's a fact. Never looking back. I'ma keep myself on track. Keep my head up, staying strong. Always moving on. Feel I don't belong. Tell my thoughts to move along. Push myself to be the best. Die with no regrets. Live with every breath. See my message start to spread. And I had so many dreams. Then you hit your teens. Life ain't really what it seems. Try to find out what it means. Always do it on my own. So I gotta get through it. And the only thing I know is to love what I'm doing. Never give up, never slow. Till I finally prove it. Never listen to the no's. I just wanna keep moving. Yeah, I put out all the heart. It's my only medicine. Yeah, everything I do, I'm just being genuine. Yeah, I'm sick of being screwed. Feel my own adrenaline. Yeah, I do just what I do, and I hope you let me in, let me in. Yeah. <laughs> Look in the camera. Yeah, boy. Okay, everybody. So this is just a quick summary of how the race went. 210 kilometers, about 20 kilometers in the break of six riders went up the road. They got about six, seven minutes and about 100 kilometers in um, on the lap we already did and came to do the second time we were caught napping at the back and Bora blew the, few, the field completely apart and uh, yeah, a lot of favorites got caught out but it ended up in a 100 kilometer chase and the gap just stayed at 30 seconds for 100 kilometers and with about 15 k's to go uh, everyone basically gave up uh, luckily um, yeah, we are about a group of 30 riders chasing a group of 30 riders and eventually To be honest um, It's really sad that I've traveled that far and be caught out In a situation like this while not concentrating fully because I didn't expect anything to happen and a lot of other favorites as well uh, But luckily we had Niels Pollard up there um, in third place as well. So hats off to him. Great great ride from him um, on my side, uh, the season has gone really so well so far. Happy the way it's ending and with my progression. Um, however, I've been caught out too many times this year, napping and not being in the right place at the right time while having good legs. And that's quite uh, frustrating for me, but it's just something I have to work on next year. Um, Anyway, really happy the legs are still there and uh, it's, it's been a struggle trying to finish off the season because it's been really long and hard uh, with ups and downs. But uh, I'm really happy um, and looking forward to 2019. And thanks for watching the vlog and I hope you enjoyed it guys. Okay, so I'm here with uh, Matze, our sonier. We're on the way to Cologne Airport, he's gonna drop me off there. Anyway. Yeah. Uh, where are you off to after this? Brakel? Yes, normally I'm supposed to go to Brakel. Depends on the traffic and you know, if yeah. I like to sleep. I, normally I like to sleep also in Germany, but maybe it's better go to Brakel to fix everything. And, and then, how, how long is the travel time? I think uh, again, three, four hours. Huh? Sure. So it's late, late evening. Uh, I think this is the last time I'm seeing you this year. Yeah? 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. You and me, yes. No, you, you do Paris tours and Paris tours yeah, and China. So don't you? Yeah, Good so luck for you in, uh, in uh, Italian races. Huh? Probably have a lot of questions about this one. Yes, with the massaging and <laughs> how your job is. But while I'm riding the bike, I cannot. Maybe you, maybe, film you, that. maybe your followers have to write down some yeah, questions, you, and then you look, and then you can tell. Yeah, them. please leave a some comments down below about the Sonyas. Uh, many people think they only do our massages but it's a full-time job they do much much more and uh, it's crazy busy for them and they always have to like when the race starts what you get in the car and you have to go to the feeding zones as well yes is it easy to get there or depends on the race in the, some Belgium races not easy to come there or yeah, to go there yeah. because a lot of fans and tricky roads and small roads but yeah, but we always we always manage. Because yeah. if we miss them, then we get no food, and then okay, well, maybe they can take it to the car. But maybe uh, it's like today, where there was just a small split in the way, in exactly. the gutters, and then nobody if, can come to you in yeah. front to give something. And, you know, and it was full gas for 100 k. Yeah. So if you don't eat any food, oh, you're gonna like see stars, you know? Yeah, for sure. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, nice. Oh. Hi. Uh, Matze is such an awesome guy. And, uh, oh, I hate it. I always have to drink up all my water and give it away just before going through security control. So, yeah. I'd say damn expensive, I always take the water off the bus. Mm -hmm.